The hits just keep on coming. More than 7 million insurance claims for auto glass in the U.S. every year. Two witnesses told police they saw the stone fly out of the passing truck. 10,000 injuries from road debris. The left side of her face was crushed. And more than 100 deaths. The rock the size of a bowling ball hit a car's windshield, killing a grandmother. Dump trucks have signs warning of the danger. Stay back 100 feet, 200 feet even a mile to avoid rock damage. The stickers also deny liability. The rock hit right there, and the windshield is ruined. Andrew Lampros has replaced three windshields in three years. All dump trucks, uh, one in Tennessee, two in Georgia. How do you hold these guys accountable? Well, it's, it's, I don't know. What do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. Not just any lawyer, Lampros is one of the top litigators in Georgia. His firm has extracted multi-million dollar settlements in injury cases, but he had trouble even finding out who to hold accountable for his windshields. Yeah, it's very interesting that they have no problem keeping those stickers on the back, but th they can't seem to keep any identifying information on the trucks. Notice anything missing on the back of these dump trucks? Look again, where's the license plate? Truck after truck with no identifying information on the business end of the vehicle. These trucks are not breaking the law. They're following it to the letter. They are exempted from having their license plate on the back of the vehicle. Some states require plates on the front and back, but most states that require only rear license plates for the rest of us allow dump trucks to put them on the front instead. Ironically, it's because they haul rocks and debris that could damage the license plate. And of course, if something comes off the back of the vehicle and hits your car, having the license plate identifier uh, on the front of the dump truck doesn't do you a lot of good. Stop. Let's rewind that back and take a look at where the rock came from. If it came from the road and the rock was simply kicked up by the truck's tire, it's not their fault. You'd be responsible for the cost of replacing it. But not all rocks are the same. If the rock fell off the truck, even if it bounces off the road and then smashes your windshield, the driver or the company could still be held liable, no matter what that sticker on the back of the truck claims. Yeah, the rock came through, uh, hit dead center uh, of the windshield, sounded like uh, a gunshot. Jamie Hurley was lucky, or so he thought, uh, can I get your ID? because the driver of the Forsyth County dump truck stopped and called police. We get like a couple of these every year. Even with evidence of asphalt leaking out of the truck, Hurley was forced to pay for the windshield himself. $2,700, um, obviously a lot of the windshields now have a lot more bells and whistles. This isn't really an accident, so it's, we don't really decide whose fault it is. We're just going to document that he said a rock came out of your truck, you said you're hauling asphalt. I learned a lesson. <laughs> 39 states, including Georgia, require a tarp or cover on dump trucks, but some barely cover the load. What you do see on the road is these lightly loose loincloths. Attorney Andrew Lampros found a solution, and it's not in any law book. After the third one, I, I decided it was time to spend the $125 and get a dash cam.